Welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you, but I love me some Shelly white rice, rice and peas. Look at that. Look how you can count the rice grains just like that. That's how I like my rice. So if you like your rice like that, stay tuned. Okay, so I get a lot of requests asking what type of rice I'm using. I actually use that long grain rice. Usually use half and half, and I use half of that Royal Basmati rice I get at the um, from my Indie Pack store. But the Pampa rice is actually from Dollar Tree. It's a great combination. So as you can see on the left hand side right there, I have that um, Basmati. Then on the right hand side, I'm I have the regular long grain, which like I said, it's a Dollar Tree rice. It's great quality rice. Trust me, if you have never tried it, please go ahead and try it. All right, so. This is actually a rice strainer. I'm just washing my rice, you know, get all the dust, dirt, particles. You see it's a little cloudy. The water's gonna clear up the longer you wash it. So that's what I'm basically doing. And I'm using a rice strainer. You can also pick this up on my Amazon um, page. I'll share the link in my description box. Just continue to wash it, wash it um, a few times. You don't see the water it just gets clearer and then you can strain it off and just continue the process until you like how it is so it's two cup of rice one cup of the basmati one cup of the long grain and i'm actually gonna use three cups of water i don't usually measure how much water i use when i'm cooking i just you know just go with the flow i've been cooking so i know are always estimating but for this video i'm going to show you the measurement so one cup of basmati one cup of long grain and i'm using three cups of water. I know uh, probably on the back of the rice package, it probably says for every one cup of rice, use two cups of water. But to me, it's, I mean, if that's what you normally do, you can, but it's just, I don't, I don't like when my rice is mushy. So this is what I use and this is my method. I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt to the rice and to the water. You can add a little butter but I'm, I didn't add any butter to this. I'm also gonna add some coconut oil. For some reason, when you put oil in the rice, it just helps the grains to separate more. So that's what I'm using. And then I turn it on medium to high heat until all the water, the moisture is almost absorbed, evaporate. You know, just mix around, see most of the water is already gone. And then what I'm gonna do just cover it up on low heat for 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. Look how nice my rice look. I usually mix it up with a fork. It just separates a lot easier that way. Look how the rice nice and shelly. See, that's how I like my rice. So if you look at my previous video, I'm pairing this up with some curry shrimp and lobster. So go ahead and check that video out. And again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.